Hi, I'm Mary Bannon, and it's wonderful to connect with you virtually at a time of this lockdown. But you know, you can still travel and visit the most amazing places, even if you're cooped up at home. We at Live History India have been doing just that for our viewers and readers as we take them to the deepest corners of India and tell them about the stories that make India from our history. The whole idea behind Live History India was to help Indians and India lovers rediscover our great history, especially regional nuances, the tapestry that makes us what we are. We feel that rediscovery is a very important step towards actual revival and restoration of our tangible and intangible heritage. The rate at which we are losing them is really terrible and it's quite astounding that nothing is being done about it. We also think that there has to be a platform where the best minds on history, the best works on history, the latest research, all of that can be reflected. And that's the whole idea behind Live History India. Another very important aspect is to keep our arts alive. India has been home to some of the most amazing artists and art forms, and many of them are dying out. We address this through our films, documentaries and articles. And we're very happy to share that over the last three years, we've had over 150 uh, experts and historians, archaeologists, etc. contribute to our platform. And we've done about 1500 films and articles. In fact, the digital medium has really made all of this possible. And I can't stress on that enough because what digital has done is that it has helped us break boundaries. Today, we are viewed in about 200 countries across the world. We couldn't have done this if it hadn't been for the digital technology and the World Wide Web, which really enables us to break down barriers. Even technology has changed tremendously since I was in television just a couple of years back. Cameras have become smaller, far more sharper, and it has also allowed us to go to the deepest corners of the country and beam live through our uh, technology. But there is a flip side to technology as well. There are no filters. And so the internet and the World Wide Web is completely full of fake news, especially around history, where people with unverified kind of facts are coming out in the open. So one of the ideas behind Live History India is also to bring out the best works, which are unbiased, which are deeply researched, and which I think actually uh, meets this challenge of fake news or fake history that is swamping the internet. In fact, I must say there hasn't been a better time to launch a niche platform like Live History India because it's really taken us a, a very short span of time to reach the numbers that we are talking about today where we've touched millions of lives across the world. As promised, I am going to take you through a journey of the five most amazing places I have been to in the last one year. We start from the site of the earliest Indians. In a village called Raiholi in Balasinor, around one and a half hours away from Ahmedabad, you will find a gem from India's prehistoric past. India's very own Jurassic Park, which as it turns out, is the second largest hatchery of dinosaur eggs in the world. This was home to some of the subcontinent's great dinosaurs like the Rajasaurus and there is also a dino named after this place, the Raiholasaurus. Of the many places I've travelled to, perhaps the most primordial was Bhim Betka, about 100 kilometres from Bhopal. And why not? These rock shelters in one of the oldest ranges of India, the Vindhyachal Mountains, have been home to early man for over 50,000 years. Around 10,000 years ago, these walls also became a canvas for the inhabitants here. This is India's oldest art gallery, which gives you a great peek into history. The excitement of being on an actual archaeological dig can give you goosebumps. Especially if it is a site of the most exciting archaeological discovery of recent times. I am talking about the headline-grabbing find of chariots and warriors in Sonali near Delhi, in a necropolis, a mass burial site going back 4,000 years ago. You too can visit Sonali and find the secrets hidden away there. A person who's always fascinated me has been Razia Sultan, who broke all rules way back in the 13th century. She became a ruler when it would have been unthinkable for a Muslim woman to do so. In our travels through the lanes and by-lanes of Old Delhi, we actually visited her forgotten grave 
and had historian Swapna Little take us on a journey through Shah Jahanabad. And the fifth place on my list has to be Bidar. This is a spectacular triple moat fort built by the Bahamani Sultans in the early part of the 15th century. When you come here, you can almost feel the brute power it once commanded. This is just a snapshot of the journeys that we've been on and the stories that we brought to our viewers and uh, readers. But this could only have been possible because of the digital technology that we adopted and the World Wide Web, which allowed us to break all sorts of barriers and reach so many people. Well, in the midst of this lockdown, you can also be part of this journey and join us as we make our way through India, through time and space. Goodbye.